Hey everybody, Danny Vaness here, and I'm here to ask, could a T-rated Sonic game work? Now, as of this recording, it currently marks the 32nd anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog. So with all the possibilities of different questions I could be asking about the franchise, why am I talking about this? Well, the reason I'm bringing it up now is actually not because of Sonic's 32nd anniversary, it just happens to fall around that same time. Uh, but the reason I bring it up now is because of a certain movie coming out with a age rating I was not expecting. The movie in question is Barbie. Let me ask you, what do you think of when you think of Barbie? When I think of Barbie, I think about this toy line made for little girls between the ages of like 4 and maybe 10 years old. Which is what it is, it was made for little girls. I mean, I don't know the exact age range, but I would imagine it's somewhere in the single digit age. So of course whenever they release like different animated movies and different like I guess there's that cartoon they've made and then different video games they've all been for little girls. Which brings me to the live action Barbie movie coming out as of this recording this year. This movie I fully expected it to be PG. I didn't expect a G rating. I, I knew they weren't going to do that when it when it was shown it was going to be live action. I mean there's hardly any G rated movies these days. But um I fully expected it to be PG after watching all the trailers and everything for it. Well, imagine my surprise whenever I randomly see the commercial for the movie come up on TV. Yes, I still currently have cable TV at this point in time. But anyway, I'm watching the commercial, and then eventually they show the rating at the end. It's PG. 13. It's not a documentary, and it's not one of those taking beloved children's tales and turning them into R-rated horror films because they're in the public domain. No, this is an official Barbie thing. Like, a Mattel approved it and everything. It just feels really weird that this toy line for little girls is getting a movie meant for teenagers and older. But why the heck am I talking about Barbie in this video that's meant to be about Sonic? Believe me, it's related. Well, I brought up the Barbie movie because it's Barbie's typically known for being for a much younger audience. With Sonic, it's meant for a little bit of an older audience than that, yet whenever it attempts to be a little more edgier, people complain, oh, this is for little kids, why are they doing this, why are they doing that? Now, I understand what some people are going to try to say. Well, they're probably just trying to appeal to the girls who grew up with Barbie, rather than the ones who are still young enough to play with the toys. But still, if Barbie can get an officially released movie that has a PG-13 rating, Sonic can get an officially released game with a T rating, or possibly a PG-13 rated movie also. But, with the way the franchise is, could it really work? My answer is both yes and no. Let me explain what I mean by that. Basically, I think it could work if it didn't star Sonic as the main character. In fact, we almost got that back in 2005 with Shadow the Hedgehog before, again, people complained and they toned it down to an E10 plus rating. Like basically, I don't think it would work as well if the main star was Sonic or Tails or Amy or Big or someone like that. But a game where the main star is, of course, like Shadow or even Knuckles, Silver, possibly Rouge or, or uh, Blaze, I think those could work with a good, at least low-key T rating. Now, I'm not saying build the game around the fact that it has a T rating, because then you're just being edgy for the sake of being edgy. Like, I'm not saying it should be filled with like blood and gore by T rated standards, a lot of language, some suggested themes, or alcohol or tobacco or whatever. I'm not saying you should have all that. I mean, a little bit of some of that could work, but basically where I'm trying to get at is don't make a T-rated game that happens to be themed around Sonic. Make a good Sonic spin-off game that has a more mature tale that is just a little bit too much for an E10 Plus rating. I mean, there's potential in some of the Sonic franchise for a T-rated game. Like, expand on Shadow's story. I mean, they tried that with Shadow the Hedgehog, it just didn't work out as well, but Still, there's a mature story there, so they could potentially work with that. There's Knuckles, I mean, you could do something with his ancestors. Uh, Silver, it's a... Silver's a bit of a confusing case, but I think something with, like, how Silver's future was in Sonic 06 could potentially work as a T-rated game. Um, and Rouge, maybe, it just... That's a bit of a stretch there, but it's just kind of a maybe. Uh, and Blaze as well, like, do something in her 
world, you know, something goes wrong in her world, I mean, they, that could potentially work out. Now, like I said, I think this T-rated game should be more of a lower-key T rating, not like one that would be the equivalent of the 16-plus rating from Peggy. I'd say more like a higher-end version of the 12-plus rating from Peggy. Go more mature, but not too mature. Like, obviously, an M-rated Sonic game would never really work. I mean, even I would say that's going too far. But I do think that a T-rated Sonic game could work. Just as long as Sonic isn't the main star. I'm not saying Sonic wouldn't be in it, I'm just saying he wouldn't be the main playable character. But ultimately, make sure the game is still fun and enjoyable, it just happens to have more mature content in it. As for a Sonic movie with a PG-13 rating, I think it could work, but again, it would still need to be a low-key PG-13 rating. Um, at this point in time, we only know so much about Sonic the Hedgehog 3, um, in fact, at this point in time, they've just now started filming, or will start filming soon. Um, so we don't really know that much about it, but if they told the more mature tale of Shadow the Hedgehog, which he is going to be in the movie, it could potentially be PG-13, but I, I'm 90% sure it's going to be a PG-rated movie. Anyway, thanks for listening to me talk about this uh, weird subject here. Um, like the video if you did like it, and let me know in the comments what you would think of the idea of a T-rated Sonic game. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, or anything else I make, then go ahead and subscribe. And again, thanks for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day. Happy 32nd anniversary to Sonic.